Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're actually gonna introduce a new build and the reason I'm doing a new build is because honestly I'm tired of not having a car and I'm tired of the hatch being a money pit and I honestly don't know when it's gonna run. I need a lot of money for that thing and yeah I'm, I really miss having a car. I miss going to the drag strip. I miss having something fun to drive with. So we're starting this build and this I'm giving myself three months from now. So starting now I'm giving myself three months to finish this car. So we're finally, finally going to start what I really wanted to start, and that's the Yuno's Roaster. If you guys are new, I ended up buying this car for $900, which was crazy deal. This car has 30,000 miles, right-hand drive, aka if you guys don't know this, it's a Japanese Miata pretty much. It's a Yuno's Roaster. In, in Japan, they didn't call them Miatas. They called them Roadsters or Yuno's Roadsters. And as you can see, this one says Roadster in the back. This has Yuno's on the badge it doesn't say mx5 or miata anywhere it did come with a hard top it came with a lot of goodies the interior is almost mint condition it looks brand new which you would expect for you know 30,000 miles it has that expensive cluster sparkle steering wheel which is real and if you guys are not new then you would know that this was automatic so that's another reason why i picked this up for 900 dollars and I've been doing a five speed swap on this without showing you guys what was going on. But what we're doing right now is where I took off the automatic transmission and now we're doing a rear main seal. Well guys, another day of trying to five speed swap my Miata. I'm actually filling up Ricardo's little mini truck, hard body. I'm taking it out about an hour from here from my town because I found a transmission for $30 on Facebook Marketplace. So that's a killer deal. And so far I have to swap probably less than $300. So we're going to go pick it up and then we'll start recording again. All right guys, so today's mission is actually to remove the brake pedal and install the clutch pedal. As you can see, this brake pedal looks really, really humongous. Let me show you the one I have here. This is for a manual Miata. As you can see, it's like probably half or a little bit less than that one. This is the brake pedal right here. We have to remove that stock one, which is a pain in the butt to do, and it's probably going to take me like an hour because this, as you can see, is fully stock. And yeah, there's a lot to it. I'm not gonna record it because I can barely see myself, especially if I would have a camera, it would probably be ridiculous under there. So I'm gonna take it off and then I'll show you the differences. Well guys, it's the next day. It's like a three day part right now. I have my clutch pedal right here. Um, ben shipped this out to me and um, yeah, it was really corroded. It looked like it came out of Titanic. So I painted it and all I had was blue. So. Eh, it looks good now. It doesn't really matter. I didn't really care that it had corrosion. He gave me a really good deal. We have the PPF file. We have the tram. And we have this. And that's pretty much everything to get this car running. Um, I mean, it was already running. But running as a manual. It already has the brake pedal installed. So all I have to do is install the clutch pedal. And as you can see, the clutch pedal actually has two sensors. It has this one right here. And this one right here. You don't need to connect them. I didn't connect them on my last... No, no, the wind is hitting my car. Like I was saying, I didn't connect this on my last Miata that I swapped, 
we have the brake pedals a lot smaller so we're gonna install the clutch pedal now install my slave my master the transmission and it should be ready to turn on and drive so I'm really excited this thing the value on this is going a lot is going up just from these mods this is not a mod that's gonna hurt the value is actually gonna help it so we're gonna get started I'm gonna stop wasting time and yeah let's get started with this guys as you can see we have the clutch the brake and we have the gas the two that you have to change is the clutch and the brake we changed those the clutch was a pain in the butt to change but it's in the brake at least it fit perfectly fine you had to do no modifications it was just a really tight fit but that's in those are the hardest parts of the swap is putting those pedals in now I'm gonna remove these 10 millimeters right here around this whole housing or this whole assembly we don't need it anymore this is an automatic assembly so we're gonna get rid of this whole thing and then the manual one will just stick right through the transmission through the bottom so we're gonna remove these with the 10 millimeters this whole thing should lift up and come out so let's do that now with Ricardo's dad bod help, we got it in. As you can see, that's the reason you need a PPF file because the transmission is actually bringing the engine down quite a bit. It's a lot of stress, but um, yeah, she's in. Five speed is officially in the Unos. And um, honestly, all you really need to do something like this is you need a dad bod, <laughs> like that one right there. $30 transmission getting brand new fluid. Let's hope it works. Because if not, I'm gonna cry. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so first startup in a manual. Well, like third. Oh You're welcome! <laughs> uh, oh. Ricardo figured it out. Ground's <laughs> really important. Yeah, it was the ground. He figured it out. I have no exhaust, but at least we know this thing runs so I can finish the video. Wait, I like that sound. Yeah, it sounded pretty cool. So um yeah, like I said again guys, look at my hair. I look like a mad scientist right now. I've been all over the car. And I haven't cut my hair in forever, but we got it figured out. This thing, is, this thing's officially, yeah, boy. Well, guys, the Unos is now five speed. Five speed. It runs and dries. All I have to do is put the PPF. It's kind of late. I'll do it tomorrow. But it runs. But before we end this video, guys. If you guys want a chance to win this t-shirt from Finishing Lines, they sponsored my last video. I said I was going to give it out last Friday, but a lot of you guys actually did not enter this, and I want to give you one more chance. So you have to next fr this upcoming Friday, today is Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, so you have a few days, and um, all you have to do is follow Finishing Lines on Instagram. I'll put it in the description box and in the comment section. Follow me, and then tag me on their latest post. Everyone that does that, I'm going to enter you in a little hat pull you on Friday or in the next video and whoever gets picked I'll ship this to you worldwide if you're from Europe I know I have a lot of Europe guys watching my videos which is surprising I guess me out is popular there but like I said again if you guys want a chance you have till this Friday if you guys don't enter then I'm gonna just pick one of the guys that did it early on but I'm trying to give you guys another chance as for this video guys I'm gonna end it here so the Unos is now 5 speed. Next is, um, we have a lot of things planned for this. I actually have a, a couple parts from Jazz Performance. Wheels, tires, paint. This thing's going to look really, really good. And I'm really excited because it's taking some of my stress from the hatch. Uh, I'm finding joy working on this for a little bit. I'm going to send it out to get painted. And while it's getting painted, then we'll go back to the hatch. I just need some time off the hatch, to be honest. It's kind of stressful. And this thing is bringing some joy back to the car. So we're going to make this a really clean daily driver show style car for cheap. And yeah, I'm going to put all the prices for the manual swap somewhere here. I do have close to, I think, 500 for this whole swap, which is freaking crazy cheap. So yeah, I'll post it right here, everything. And then I'll end this video. So I'll see you guys next time.